friends in Christ, greetings as we prepare this weekend for Sunday of the Word of God. On the Feast of St. Jerome in 2019, Pope Francis promulgated this weekend in really as a beautiful compliment to Corpus Christi, the body and blood of the Lord. So each third Sunday in January is Sunday of the Word of God. The document, Apostolic Letter, that Pope Francis wrote is a peruit illis, a Latin sentence that says he opened for them, meaning from the story of Emmaus, he opened the word of God to them, Jesus walking along with two of his crestfallen disciples, and in doing so, restored them to life. Pope Francis inaugurated this in his own words so that the Catholic faithful can appreciate the inexhaustible riches contained in the constant dialogue among the Word of God, the risen Lord, and His people. The scriptures that the Church proclaims this weekend are perfect to celebrate this weekend of the Word of God. In the Gospel from Luke, Jesus enters the synagogue in the town where He grew up, takes the scroll of the prophet Isaiah, proclaims a year of favor from the Lord, the good news of God's presence, rolls it up and says to the people in that synagogue and to the church throughout the world in every generation, this day, this scripture has been fulfilled in your hearing. When the gospel is proclaimed, the Lord is present, speaking to us and inspiring us. From the first reading this weekend, we have the book of Nehemiah, an historical moment when the exiles came back to their land in Jerusalem. And Ezra the priest, Nehemiah the governor, gathered the people, proclaimed the word of God that rallied them, restored their hope. And in the proclamation, for this day is holy to our Lord, do not be grieved. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. That is a timeless message for us. As we strive to deepen our love for the Lord in the Eucharist this year, we return again to the story of Emmaus, where Jesus, walking along with two of his disciples, inflames their hearts and minds, reveals to them through the breaking of the bread, the Eucharist, his presence, and then empowers them to go on mission to live the good news and to speak about him in this, in this world and in their lives. This scripture passage is the standard for what happens each time we gather at Mass. We are nurtured, we are strengthened from the table of God's Word and from the table of the Eucharist. Emmaus over and over again. With regard to our own personal lives, the Word of God can be a rich source, a fountain of life for us in our own hearts and minds, in our families, in small faith-sharing groups, because God is always taking the initiative. We respond. A beautiful image of that comes from the book of Revelation. Behold, I am standing at the door knocking. If one of you hears my voice and opens the door, I will enter and we will dine together. Pope Francis encourages us, if we hear his voice and open the doors of our minds and hearts, then he will enter our lives and remain with us. In season and out of season, in good times and in bad times, may rejoicing in the Lord be our strength. With our Blessed Mother and all the saints, may we hear the word of God and put it into practice. May the proclamation of God's Word this weekend and every day always enlighten our minds and hearts so that we can know the Lord is near. Thank you for your attention. God bless you.